What up, YouTube? You can't stop trading and investing with your boy, James E. Today, we're going to talk about TSNP. I want to go over the technicals, what I'm seeing in the charts, based off yesterday and today. What does it mean to me? But before I do that, man, please click that like button. Please subscribe. It is very much appreciated. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy that likes to research and analyze anything that I find interesting in the stock market. And I like to share that with anybody who is willing to listen. So that being said, let's just get right into this. You feel me? TSNP. As you can see, we're having the second red day off this nice, solid over a hundred percent run um you know like i talked about in the last video if you haven't watched it please go and do so i mean this is typical guys you feel me you can't have a hundred percent run and not expect some kind of pullback i had talked about it before we even reached this levels and had said that you know depending on what it does around this 21 area that we could potentially get that drop back to the 15 area and that's exactly what happened and if you look at here, this is the 10 day, 30 minute chart. We're getting a solid base in that 15 area. You feel me? I mean, come on, man. I mean, this thing could just be read out beautifully. Now the question is, is now a time to buy? You feel me? It's a safe bet. Now, when you're talking about basing in these tens, um, you know, is it a safe bet to buy in the 15 area? Or you feel me, should you wait until it drops to the 10? Me personally, I don't necessarily think it's going to drop to the 10. I truly believe it's going to catch off this bounce of the 15 area and maybe start, you know, rebounding some because of the new bullish news and the new sentiment that is coming out recently. Um, as I shared in the last video with that article that came out on the 27th and then in the previous video I did about TSMP with the article coming out on Christmas Eve and then now going into January 2021 where they will soon be changing their ticker symbol to HMBL and changing the company name from Tesro to Humble Inc which is what we are all waiting for as retail investors and, and people involved in the stock. That's going to be huge catalyst for this thing to move because it's going to cause more eyes to be on this. Um, you know, again, I'm sitting patient and waiting. I'm bullish on this company. I believe in the people. I believe in the product and I believe in the mission. And when it comes to business, those are the three key things that you truly want to look into. Obviously, there's no revenue yet because it's still brand new technology. But I believe in what it's doing. I believe in what they're going to accomplish. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm having a making sure I have a safe bet on, uh, you know, them doing so. So uh, I just wanted to go over the technicals real fast. To me, this is nothing to panic about if you are an investor in here. For me personally, this is nothing for me to panic about at all. It's just a beautiful correction because even at this price of the uh, 15.5, 15.4, that is still 100% up from the bottom of the 7.5s. That's still up 100% from this point. Um, from the base point of the 10s, that's still up over 50% on your money from the base point. So for me personally, this is nothing. This is normal. As you can see here, the run here, two days of big red pullback before the rip. Um, and I kind of potentially see that happening here. Um, so now could be a great potential for those um, who have a higher average to potentially average down. Um, but again, you don't want to play a waiting game with this. You want to be methodical and you want to make sure you have a set plan for this particularly. Um, because with penny stocks, like I said, these things fluctuate because there's so much speculation and so much unknown still. Because um, that's the reality of it, even though I'm bullish on it, even though a lot of my subscribers and people watching and I'm loving all the comments you guys are leaving. Trust me, I'm bullish on this thing, too. Uh, but again, man, you know, for those that are, who are scared of, of uh, you know, short term movement, you know, you got to ask yourself, why are you in this stock? Are you in this stock to make money really fast or are you really in this stock to hold it for the long term for the potential of the mass potential you could have because it, it could be massively potential so i mean that's exactly why i'm in it because the way i look at this the risk and and reward are completely on two different spectrums so the way i'm looking at it um my risk is risking the dollar amount i put in here um you know for me that's about roughly about 17 to 18 percent of my net so for me personally that's not a lot but the potential 
the potential of this thing, especially if they could get it moving to the point where they want to get it on the NASDAQ or get it on a New York Stock Exchange, we need that $4 price target. And if they do not plan on doing any type of reverse split on this thing or split whatever um, to, uh, you know, get rid of shares to raise that price, if they're maintaining the share count, um, you know, then that's going to be a lot of work by Brian Foote to get this thing going. And with the help of George Sharp, I believe with his experience being in the OTCs that he can help help move this thing and get this thing going in the right direction. So it's just a matter of time, guys. It's a patient game with this stock. Um, for those of you that are, you know, uh, getting scared of short term movement again man then maybe it's just not uh, maybe you got too much money involved man you know what i'm saying like if you're comfortable which a lot of a lot of my subscribers are are so comfortable with this and so am i uh you feel me? make sure you're comfortable with your dollar amount man because if, if you're uh if you're getting scared of these short-term moves then that tells me you're not comfortable and when you're not comfortable you don't make smart decisions and when you don't make smart decisions guess what you wind up losing money and uh you, we're not in this to lose money we're in this to make money so again, just looking at the technicals, this this is normal. Um, as you can see, we're finally get that curl. And like we typically see in technicals, when you start seeing that curl action, um, we eventually get the pop because you don't see that curl in the in the in the previous red day. You're starting to see that curl here. Very similar to what we've seen in the actual bigger picture, which is the daily. Um, when we see that curl here, that's when it finally started to pop. So for me, it's looking like it's having a solid base. We're starting to see that smooth curl and I'm expecting it to curl and potentially have us that green day again and continue the momentum into tomorrow. So TSMP guys, um, let me know your thought process on this, man. Leave a comment. Let me know if you think this is the bottom. Let me know if you think you see what I see, which is the curl here and we'll get it moving tomorrow. Or are we gonna drop back down to the tens? Me personally, I think I'm seeing a curl, guys. So leave a comment, man. Let me know what you guys are seeing. Um, again, man, if you made it this far, please click that like button. Please subscribe. It is very much appreciated. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy that likes to research and analyze anything I find interesting. And, you know, anybody who's open to listen, that is amazing for me personally. Yeah, you can't stop mafias and mindset movement, meaning never stop yourself, never stop your progress, never stop your education, especially in finance. Having multiple streams of income is an amazing thing, and the stock market is a place for you to do that. So, uh, TSMP, still bullish on it. Don't let these small, short-term movements affect your mindset if you're holding it for the long run. If you are a day trader or trying to swing trade this for an overnight play, then obviously I would cut my losses. But if you're in this for the long term like I am and like most of my subscribers are, man, don't, don't let this shit bother you. It is normal. All right. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Till next time. Peace. I'm out.